सो गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर विनीत सहगल योर ऑफथेलमोलॉजी एजुकेटर इन द अन अकेडमी एंड टुडे वी आर देयर अगेन विद अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सेशन ऑफ ऑफथेलमोलॉजी वेयर इन फ्यू मिनट्स ऑफ टाइम आई वुड बी टेलिंग यू अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच इज़ यूजली आज इन द एग्जाम्स एंड यूजली नॉट कवर्ड इन योर कन्वेंशनल कोचिंग सो द टॉपिक फॉर द टुडे इज रोल ऑफ अल्ट्रासाउंड इन ऑफथेलमोलॉजी so i am dr vineet sehgal you can just subscribe for the iconic subscription which has the an academy and the prep ladder app you can use my code that is dr vineet 10 to get 10% off in the total package now before i start my session please see how the ultrasound b scan is done usually we keep the patient in a supine position but here i am just doing it in a sitting position to show you how it is done so if you can see it let's see it again so i have put the probe over the closed eyelid okay i put a jelly and then with this probe i am basically scanning the eye and if now you can see here this is the b scan that we get so what is the meaning of b here the b word here means brightness whenever we see a ultrasound b scan if you can appreciate in this figure this is the shadow of the lens then this black area that you are getting this is the vitreous then we have the layers the retina and this one is the sclera if you can appreciate this black shadow this black shadow is by the optic nerve head okay so this basically shows a ultrasound b scan of a normal eye with this ultrasound we can also see the a scan what is the meaning of a scan the a scan means here the amplitude so we have a ultrasound b scan and we have the ultrasound a scan so in a scan you see the spikes like this so if you can appreciate here there is a one big spike here and then there are small spikes okay so this distance is having no spike so this distance is of vitreous cavity this spike is because of the posterior capsule of the lens and this spike is because of the retina okay so with the help of ultrasound a scan we can also see or we can else also distinguish about the various type of opacities that are present in your eyeball and we can also know about the axial length of the eye okay so remember a means amplitude scan here so basically what is the role of ultrasound in ophthalmology so many diseases like retinopathy of prematurity retinal detachment phpv choroidal detachment retinoblastoma any intraocular foreign body to confirm the diagnosis of optic nerve head drusen intraocular tumors like uveal melanomas the cases of endophthalmitis posterior vitreous detachment vitreous hemorrhage biometry biometry means getting the iol power to analyze posterior segment in the patients of mature or hyper mature cataract or in the patients of corneal opacity we can use ultrasound we can use both ultrasound b scan that is the brightness scan and a scan that is the amplitude scan many machines are having both b scan and a scan in them now let's see the various pathologies and how they look like in ultrasound so if you can see here these membranes so these are the retinal membranes okay so the there is a patient of retinal detachment and if you can see whenever you have a retinal detachment the membranes are basically okay are attached to the optic nerve head okay so this is a retinal detachment a similar feature can be there seen in a condition which is called posterior vitreous detachment so remember whenever there is a posterior vitreous detachment where the vitreous is detached from the retina 
you can have a figure like this okay so it can also look like a retinal detachment but in posterior vitreous detachment the differentiating feature is it is not attached to the optic nerve head like your retinal detachment okay so bvd is basically it can be complete or in incomplete but it is not attached to your optic nerve head that is how you can differentiate between a retinal detachment and a posterior vitreous detachment then let's see this question a 26 year old male came to the opd with sudden onset of floaters and loss of vision on ultrasound b scan you get a picture like this what is your differential diagnosis so in this case how to interpret the image so first of all please see this is your vitreous cavity and if you can appreciate in the vitreous cavity there are some opacities okay and here also in the amplitude you are seeing mild to moderate amplitude spikes here okay so the mild to moderate amplitude spikes means there is a vitreous opacity in the patient so in which cases there can be vitreous opacities it can be the infective opacities of the endophthalmitis or it can also be the blood aggregation in the vitreous hemorrhage so whenever this comes so both a and d can be the answer here but remember what is the question that is asked so it is a 26 year old male which has come to the opd with sudden onset floaters so remember whenever you get a clinical question you have to see the findings that is given in the picture and then you have to do a clinical correlation so from this picture you get a diagnosis of eels disease and remember in eels disease you have the vitreous hemorrhage okay so the answer is d here so remember ultrasound basically helps you in the diagnosis but the ultrasound pictures can be sometimes overlapping with each other so in that case when wherever there is an overlapping of the image then you have to make your clinical sense and then try to answer then let's say there is another question after a cataract surgery the patient was so told that there was a complication and the surgery and the patient was left aphakic what is the meaning of aphakic aphakic means you have not put an intraocular lens the b scan picture is given here okay so what is your differential diagnosis so if you can see in this picture you are seeing here there is a there is a nucleus which is putting which is sitting there in the vitreous cavity so what has happened is that during a cataract surgery there can be the uh, ciliary ciliary zonules loss and what it has caused is that it has caused the whole lens to drop in the vitreous cavity so this is a patient of lens drop or nucleus drop in the vitreous cavity okay now this ultimate ultrasound B scan is also the initial investigation that you do in a patient of retinoblastoma it is very sensitive to detect any calcification but remember sometimes if the calcification is not seen in the ultrasound the better technique is your CT scan so if you can see in this picture the patient is a two-year-old child who has come to the OPD with the chief complaints of leukocoria okay the white pupillary reflex when you do an ultrasound picture so can you see here there is a there is a mass here okay a intraocular mass you are seeing why it is a mass and not an opacity can you see the oh, various a scan lines so you are seeing very large amplitude spikes which are even bigger than the spikes of your retinoid sclera so this is a very strong a very big mass which is having a very high density so the differential diagnosis goes towards the retinoblastoma but remember if they tell or if they ask if this type of picture is seen in a patient who is let's say a 30 year old patient then your differential diagnosis can be another intraocular tumor that is like your uveal melanoma okay so this is how we can differentiate various type of ultrasound pictures and make our diagnosis there so where we use this technique we use this technique to detect and diagnose and to confirm our findings when we are not able to see the posterior segment 
सो होप यू वुड हैव लाइक द सेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब फॉर द अन अकेडमी नीट प्लस चैनल यू कैन सब्सक्राइब फॉर द अन अकेडमी प्लस प्रोग्राम विद माई कोड दैट इज डॉक्टर विनीट टेन लेट्स क्रैक इट